Hey, okay, this one's going to be a little bit quicker than yesterday's. This is about bases. If you notice over here, you have OH, so that's uh, Everanius, right? H's and OH's. H's are acids, OH's are bases. If you look to the right of the screen, I know it's tempting to just look at that old baseball player, but let's try to focus. Um, you have purines and pyrimidines. If you look at those four bases, those are the bases that make up DNA. Adenine uh, connects with thymine and guanine with cytosine. Um, they're just held together by hydrogen bonds. Right? It's kind of fascinating how simple DNA is. You get all the information that um, it has on it. It's just kind of, I uh, hope you take AP because it's really interesting stuff. Um, baking soda, soap are bases, so we're going to get into some of those. Here's something um, that my wife's chemistry teacher used to help her remember. Now, my wife doesn't know anything. If it doesn't have a hockey stick or a hockey puck or on ice, she has n she know, has no knowledge of the sport. She's French-Canadian. So, um, but she knew that alkaline was a baseball player, right? Alkalines are bases. Um, in fact, Al just died this year, sadly. He is in the Hall of Fame, though. Look at those statistics. It's amazing. Um, I think it was last year there was an uh, elderly gentleman in Cumbies in Fort Ann, and he had an Al Kaline um, jersey on. It just said Kaline. And he played for the Tigers, and I started talking to him about how I use Al Kaline's name to remember uh, alkaline and bases, and he just kind of nodded and then quickly walked away from me. So bases are have a pH greater than seven, remember pH is the power of hydrogen or the power of hydronium. So they're losing H's and they're increasing in OH's. Um, human blood, so your blood is basic. Um, baking soda, detergent, so cleaners are basic. And then you have uh, bleach and then Drano is extremely, extremely basic. There was this thing going on when I was in California, and I think it's still going on, is that people believe that um, the more basic you kept your blood, the more your body could fight off cancers or cancer can grow in a basic environment. I, I really haven't found much, much research on that, but they bought these fancy machines um, uh, and just to make their water basic. In fact, I knew somebody who was an amazing photographer to the stars um, how Ramus, who you guys probably have no idea who he is, but it was one of his clients and, um, he like stopped being a photographer and started selling these things and was making a fortune. Funny thing is you could just take a little bit of baking soda, which you get for like what, 99 cents, like a ton of it for like 99 cents at Walmart and, um, just put that in your water and that would make it basic because baking soda is 8.5, but, uh, I don't know. What do I know? So anyway, here are some of the rules. Again, they are um, polar covalent. So they act as electrolytes. So they can conduct electricity or electricity, just like acids can, and salts. They uh, turn red litmus paper blue. Okay. And then um, blue stays blue. Also, phenolphthalein turns purple in bases, which will be important next week. Um, here's how I kind of remember it. I just use my dyslexic brain. I, I, I just look at the um, P's in base, blue and blue, upside down P's. All right. So I would know blue, blue would be a base. Um, or you could just remember B. All right. Blue, blue, base. And then P, P, upside down P, phenolphthalein, purple, and bases, or bases in my brain. So they react with acid to form salt water, right? Again, that's a neutralization reaction. So again, look at the OH, that's Arrhenius acid. And look at the H in hydrochloric acid, that is an Arrhenius, I'm sorry, NaOH is an Arrhenius base. HCl is an Arrhenius acid. And then it's a double replacement reaction, right? So it's an acid-base reaction, but you would not get it wrong if you called it a double replacement reaction. They taste bitter. So alkaloids, uh, which are found in medicine, which is that's why medicine tastes so bad. A lot of bases in medicine. Also coffee. I always thought coffee was acidic, but the bitter taste 
um, is from the bases. Also, bases can be found or can be formed when group one or group two metals react with water. So if you remember our group two experiment, right? So if we were taking the regions, they could piggyback on group two elements. Um, sodium is a group one. If I threw sodium in water, it would explode. However, on the positive side, it would give me NaOH and hydrogen gas, and then the hydrogen gas would, would explode. So um, that's why we do group two metals in the lab, not group one. Um, this week, I'm hoping to have some fun with group one metals, at least online. I do have some sodium in the classroom, um, and I do take it out from time to time, and but a very little amount of it. So the sodium that we have in the classroom stays in the back room, stays in a metal case, in a jar, that's um, in a container that's in oil and then wrapped in plastic. So it does not react. Sodium is highly reactive. Again, uh, NaOH, uh, group one and group two metals you cannot find in nature. And then there's magnesium does the same thing. So what metal has to be reacted with water to form lithium hydroxide? You said lithium, you are a chemistry genius. Also, they're slippery. So um, bases hydro, um, hydrolyzed of fats. That's how we make um, soap. So we call it saponification. I would, in class, so you guys would remember for the regions, I would intentionally say soap bonification, but it's saponification. So um, you could use animal fat, vegetable oil. Um, I don't know if any of you saw the, um, what was it, uh, Fight Night or Fight Club? It's a weird way that Brad Pitt made uh, soap. If you didn't see it, it's rated R, get parent permission um, before you do. It's a weird movie, excellent ending. Anyway, drain cleaner contains sodium hydroxide. So if you ever worked in a diner or a restaurant, you'd probably be using a lot of this stuff because the greasers get all clogged up. It's pretty nasty, okay? But it'll break down the fats, okay? Also, aluminum hydroxide is used to clean floors and countertops, especially when they get greasy. Never, ever mix ammonium or ammonia with bleach or products containing bleach. Okay, it gives off a highly toxic gas that uh, that'll kill you. So here's, let's see how well you do. Given this reaction, okay, what would we call this reaction? What's taking place? Is it neutralization, substitution, or addition? You said neutralization, you are a chemistry genius, okay? Um, KNO3 is a salt. It's not a table salt, it's ionic. So ionics, we call salt in chemistry. True salts are halides, group 17, but in this class, ionics are considered salts. An aqueous solution of an ionic compound turns red litmus paper blue, conducts electricity, and reacts with an acid to form a salt in water. Remember, base blue, blue, blue base, which one would it be? Okay, bases end in OH, that makes it a little bit easier. There you have it, all right. Okay, so my next video is gonna be about naming acids. Bases are really easy. So, um, hope that was helpful and I'll see you soon.